Run away from all those evil things. In 1 Timothy 6, in verse 11, it says, But you, Timothy, are a man of God. So run from all these things, pursue righteousness and a godly life along with faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. Paul was writing a letter to Timothy, and he was, and it was all these evil things that he was implying was, um, you know, those who long to be rich. It said, you know, and it was talking about all the evil things that come with longing to be rich. But that verse made me think of something else, because I think this not only applies for the evil things that come with sin, the evil, the evil things that come with love and money, but all sin. It says, but you are a man of God, so run from all these evil things. This reminds me of the verse that says, flee from, flee from sin. Um, yeah, it reminds me of that verse that says, flee from sin. Because a lot of the times we stumble into temptation, we stumble into we stumble into the temptation. We stumble into, you know, um, setbacks and all these things we shouldn't be doing. Like, you know how there's those things, there's all those things that you may struggle with and like you may stumble into it or you fall into it or whatever that may be. What I notice is, and like the verse says, flee from things of sin. You can't get sucked into something that you're not close to. You can't get pulled into something if you're not within arm's reach to get pulled in. We get sucked into things that are not of God because we're near it. Our flesh tells us, oh, well, just a little bit not gonna hurt, or um, it's, it's not like you're doing a real thing, or well, let's, let's just do a little bit, or you know, or it, it's not, you're not doing really doing it. Like it's just you know, just kinda. It's this. This not gonna hurt. But here's another one. Oh, um, I'm not doing it. I'm. They, they, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that thing. I'm gonna just hang with them. Hang with these group of people, and they gonna do it. But you know what? I'm, I'm gonna still hang with them. I'm just not gonna do it. They might persuade me, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell them, say, nah. I'm not gonna do it. And um, that's what we like to tell ourselves. Before we kind of like slip into str our struggles or temptation, we like give ourselves this like prep talk. Like we like motivate ourselves. And that's like we kind of tell ourselves, We're like yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I, I'm gonna be good, just, just a little bit, I, I promise. I, that's what we kind of tell ourselves that. The enemy is also like telling us that. And we tell, go into that, we tell ourselves that prep talk and we go into like, becoming near that thing, like entertaining it, just dibble dabbling with it. And because we like dibble dabble with it, with it we like fall into it. And it all started with the dibbling, dibbling and dabbling with it. it ain't, like you didn't fall into it. You don't just are far away from something and then get sucked in. No, 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 no. That, that's not how that works. For you to fall into something, you gotta be near it first. You gotta like entertain it first. If you don't even put yourself near it. The Bible says flee from flee from temptation. This verse right here says, so run from all these evil things. We don't like to do that. We, and God just gave this to me, we think we're so strong to where, although I may struggle with this thing, if I just get a little taste of it, I'm strong enough to not do the real thing. Like I'm, not, I'm, I'm strong enough to not go far. If I just get a little taste of it, or if I'm just around it, or if, or if I just maybe entertain the thought of it, then I'm good enough to to be to be strong enough to not do it. Whether that be trying to stay abstinent, trying to be celibate, not having sex. Well, if I just do a little some something, I'm strong enough to not go fully through with it. Or, um, if I have a struggle with drinking alcohol but if I just have one drink I'm strong enough to not get drunk or if I have a problem with smoking well I'm gonna just be around some people that smoke and I'm strong enough to not hit the blunt when they offer to pass it my way we have this false strength in ourselves because if you were strong enough to do that then you would not struggle with it with to begin with and we must turn into a new direction so it says that 
we get sucked, like I was telling you, we get sucked into things, but we get sucked in it because we're close to it. But it don't, like I said, we don't just end up in temptation. We don't just end up in struggle. It all started somewhere. We fall into evil things, and that's the end result. The, the temptation, like the actual sin of falling into it, that's the end result, result from a starting point. You started here. This is just the end result. And it began because I started walking towards it. Like I said, putting myself close to it. And it's, I started walking towards it. And this is a slowly progressing pursuit. You might not run towards it, right? You might do that pep talk thing I was telling you about so many times where you might be strong this time, might be strong this time, might be strong enough this time, but what you're doing is you're slowly walking closer and closer to the end point. And one of those times where you're not strong enough to, you're, you're not strong enough to do it because you put yourself near it, you start, like I said, you started walking in it. Oh, I'm strong enough. I'm not gonna do it. Just once, a little bit, I ain't gonna do it. And you fall into it, that thing that you're struggling with. And we are, and, and that happens, we fall into temptation because I'm headed in that direction. Well, we need to turn into a new direction. Turn away from it. The Bible says turn away from these things. So I know if, if there's, sex and women and all this na nasty worldly stuff I'm say you know what instead of like slowly dibbling and dabbling with it you know slowly putting myself in position to even like get close to it instead of like running close to it I'm gonna try to and for, forget even try to come close to it running away from it I'm gonna turn a new direction to where I don't, I don't even see these things I don't that's not even in my life. I'm not even gonna put myself in a position to be tempted by that. I'm gonna turn into a whole new direction. What is that direction? I'm gonna turn towards God. That's the direction I'm gonna head towards. Because we're like in life, we're all pursuing something. We're all going somewhere. We all have different paths, and our paths lead up to different places. Where is your path headed? I don't want my path to be where sin and women and sex and all those things that are down there. I don't want to fall down that path and stumble into that thing. That's not the path I want to be on. I don't want to slowly creep to that thing and fall into it and deal with the consequences that come towards that. I want to go in the direction of pursuing righteousness. And that's what it says. It said we must pursue righteousness. I'm going to turn away from that and I'm going to go on this path. I'm going to pursue righteousness. And I want to be on the race of righteousness because there are, if I'm on the pursuit of righteousness, what are all the good things that can that God can lead me on that race? Hey, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything didn't make any sense, um, I love interacting with you guys, and I love y'all. Peace.